lots of falafel before. Maybe you guys haven't seen it, uh, but we have done falafel before. Twice, I think it was, we done it. Chef, do you have a active giveaway? We do. Hit the exclamation mark giveaway. We got $10, £10 Amazon gift card giveaway. Exynel won the last giveaway, and he's already got it. Um, due to he couldn't receive the... I couldn't post it to him. I had to send, send him an electronic uh, gift card. And he was very happy with it. So that was all sorted out for him. So yeah, guys, if, if it can't be... If I can't deliver it to you, or um, then I'll just send it electric, le electronically. There we go. Got the word out there then. So yeah, it's uh, £10 or $10 Amazon gift card giveaway. And we've also got another one queued up as well after that one. So we've got another one. So I've done nearly about £100 worth of Amazon gift card giveaways now, guys. So I've done a fair, fair bit of giveaways, which is fantastic. So um, it's something I like to give back to you guys um, to say thank you so much for all the support you guys have actually given me. I really appreciate it ever so much. Right, so am I thinking have I got enough onions? Yeah, I should have enough. I don't see why not. Right, so. We use half of this, and I'm going to use about one. One tomorrow. One today. Yeah, that should be fine. Oof, I might lay off this uh, soda water. It's making me very burpy. It's very gassy. Uh... How's that going down? What's what's that, my uh, friend? The uh, soda water, or do you mean the giveaway, or how do you mean, Gordon? Uh, referring to the kind of squash, not actually pasta. It's a healthier uh, than pasta. Okay, very interesting. I'll have a look into it and see uh, see what we can do. But I might need a special tool for that, and I don't have one. So uh, I think I know what one you're on about. Usually, it's a, usually a spiraler, and uh, I don't really like using special equipment too much to make food. I like to make it from scratch by hand, um, but we can if we want, but I'll have to buy the equipment first. Uh, the ribs, so, oh, the spicy ribs. Yeah, that's um, made a suggestion for next uh, community weekend. Sorry, Gordon. So, um... Somebody's already made a suggestion for that, so we can make some healthier barbecue ribs. Um, I'll have to kind of dig out my recipe for a healthier barbecue sauce and a, bar a healthier barbecue rub. But um, it'll be reduced sugars and reduced kind of fats, but um, it'll still be very, very tasty regardless. Which I'm sure uh, you'll be very interested to see how that kind of pans out. So, spaghetti bolognese. Can do if you want want me to do spaghetti bolognese. Can put it down. All you need is a knife to open the squash and a fork to scrape the insides a bit. I'm I'm quite intrigued how that's gonna kind of work work out because if you cook it, wouldn't it turn to mush? Because I thought you'd have to use a spirula and um, it'll come out like spaghetti string. So I'm very intrigued how that would work. Um, ooh, you bet I am. <laughs> shawarma. No, we're not doing any kind of, um, I think we've done shawarma already. I think we've already done that. I'm pretty sure I have. Let me just double check. I think I've already done shawarma before. And we actually did shawarma about two or three months ago. So, let's have a look. Maybe I could do it again. Mm, yeah, we did do it. Sorry. Yeah, we could change it around. We could do do like a, I don't know, kind of like a pulled pork or pulled beef kind of shawarma. I suppose. Oh, I put shawarma down. A shawarma, shawarma wrap. So yeah, I mean we could we could do that. I don't see why not. We'll get that down. If I can pronounce that right or write it right. Um so look. I think we've got enough ideas now. Shwama. 
Yeah, we but keep throwing them, guys. Oh, we've done a lot of tacos before. Um, coconut chicken. If it's going, we're not going to do it, guys. We're not going to do any kind of like curry kind of things. Uh, but I suppose coconut chicken. I suppose you could. Yeah, pulled beef and pork. All of those very tasty things. Can you make me a sandwich for Elvis? Was famous for peanut butter, banana, and bacon sandwich. I was, I was gonna, I was waiting for that. I was waiting. Is he gonna suggest bacon? And he did. I thought he knew he would. So right, and what we're gonna do? Let's get these onions on the go. Should we start getting this soup on? Right. Um, let's have a look. What else we got? I'm gonna grab a garlic. I'm gonna put a little bit of thyme in there as well. So two garlic cloves will do. Um, Mr. Lister, the sister fist. <laughs> How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Um, thank you so much for that follow. How is your day going? How is Mr. doing today? So, top and tail this. Take the skin off. It's all fibrous, isn't it? Kind of the disaster of a banana peel cake I made a few weeks back. What's disaster? Can you make a vegan friendly recipe one day, please, chef? Pretty sure I could. I do make suggestions to vegan friendly recipes. Um, do you know what I mean? I have done quite a quite a few great suggestions, especially as well. A perfect example is uh, last last week with the quiche. I've already done a vegan dish with that quiche. But um, minus the eggs, you could actually put um, instead um, put maybe a puree or a setting, and uh, to help thicken it. But to be fair, I'm not a vegan chef, and um, I tell you what, if you are looking for vegan foods, my best suggestion to you, uh, Amelia, is to um, go follow Fake Gamer Girl. She's a vegan. And she does vegan streams and she does some great dishes. Um, I do make suggestions, but um, I don't really go quite elaborating into vegan because it's very, very difficult to do healthy and vegan at the same time. So um, if you want to do vegan, I would suggest go go see F Fake Gamer Girl. She does some fantastic uh, vegan dishes and she's very, very clever in what she does. And uh, you should go check her out. Go check out the dishes she does. She does streams on here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. um I think it's spelt Cal. It's spelt with, instead of I I R L. It's spelt um, G R L. I think. I don't think that's the correct link. Just double check it. I'm pretty sure it's uh, G R L. I think, off the top of my head. But uh, thank you. No, no problem at all. You're most welcome. As I said, I'd love to help you more than anything, but I'm not going to lie to you. I'm no uh, vegan cook. I'm no uh, expert on vegan. Um, I can do vegetarian dishes, left, right, and centre. Um, I've done like one or two vegan dishes before, but as I said, it's not my expertise for like healthy eating. It's very difficult to make healthy and vegan at the same time. I try hard. I uh, have um, hypo hypothyroid. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> Hypothyroidism. And for some reason, most animal products make me sick unless I cook with organic and lean meat, which is hard to come by. Okay, that's not too bad, and it's very expensive. Can you can you use like eggs and things though, uh, Emil? Um, can you use like eggs, and can you use like um, like cheese and things like that? Are you okay with that? Uh, thank God. Oh really? Who am I thinking of then has GRL? Because I'm pretty sure I did that the other day and it was wrong. Let me just double check this. I might I might I'm probably dreaming. Go back to sleep, chef. I'm probably thinking of somebody else, aren't I? No, you're right. Oh you are right. Sorry, Cal. I thought I might have been thinking of somebody else then. Some other streamer. With, um, because I remember, oh, I know who it is. I think it's Imperial Girl. 
But instead of it G-I-R-L, it's G-R-L. That's what I'm thinking of. I was thinking that it, it was uh, somewhere. But uh, I think it's... I'm pretty sure it's Imperial Girl. I get very confused with all these, like, names and, and stuffs. But, uh, yeah. Okay, my bad. Radio. So, onions, garlic, the thyme. Um, actually, I need a bigger pan, don't I? Bigger pan for bigger stock. Let's give that a swill out. We don't really need to wash it too much, but just put that in the sink. Um, if you want some other veggies in there, you can do if you want. If you've got some celery. I don't even think we got celery. Let's have a look. What we got in here? A bit sparse on the old veggeroonies today. Got a little bit of cheeky broccoli left over. Oh, we got a little bit of pepper. We'll have that. Pepper. Uh, chili, sorry. Cheeky bit of chili. There's a little bit of that. I'm going to take the seeds out there because I don't want it to be so hot. So let's take this out. Hey, what that chicken's caramelizing very beautifully in the oven. It smells so good. So, so I'm just taking that out. Just chuck that in. So I want a bit of heat in there, but I don't want it to be like ridiculous amount of heat. So let's pop that on the side. <laughs> Got lucky this time. <laughs> uh, any dairy is really bad. Eggs are sometimes okay, depending on the day. Okay. I bet that's really tough for you. Um, and um, I guess you can eat some certain things, but other things you can't. But when it comes to, like, um, things with... Uh, when it comes to um, a medical condition, I bet that's really, really tough for sure. Uh, radio. So, good morning, good morning, man. How you doing, darling? How are things with you? <laughs> Cheeky frog emote. He loves that frog emote. How you doing, darling? Love you loads. You're up very early this morning. Oh, it is. Wait, it's Friday, isn't it? I keep thinking it's Sat. No, it's Saturday today, isn't it? I think I'm losing the plot altogether. <laughs> yeah, it is Saturday. I keep thinking it's Friday today for some reason. I don't know why. Weird. Um.